In this video, I will show you how to get your Steam API key. So let's jump straight into it. So with Steam, you might need your API key to use if you're looking to use Steam for certain websites. Sometimes it does ask for your API key. Now, of course, you want to make sure that you don't share this with anyone because there is a chance you can get banned. But you can find more information if you read through the terms of the API key usage policy by Steam. But to go ahead and get this is actually really, really easy to do. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually go ahead and open up a new internet browser. As you can see, I'm here on google.com. Now, what you want to do is come up to the address bar at the top and type the following in, which is steamcommunity.com forward slash dev dev forward slash API key, and then go ahead and press enter. So when you first initially do this, what it's going to do is ask you to log in with your Steam account. Now, at the moment, you can see it says for me something is wrong because I've not actually got the Steam Guard mobile authenticator. So you want to make sure you've got that set up first of all, so that you do meet the requirements for a developer API key. Also, I believe you do need to have an active Steam account. So you can't just go ahead and create a Steam account and try and do it that way. You do need to have an active account where you've purchased some games on within the previous 12 months. But once you've done that and you come across to here, it's going to ask you to log in and basically it's going to ask you for your domain name. So you can purchase anything into the domain name box like for example test or if you're using the api key for another website it might be worth putting the name of the domain in there and what it's going to do is generate your api key now at any point if you're worried that your key is going to get compromised you can come across to here and revoke your key and also regenerate a new one but that's basically how to go ahead and get your steam api key so with that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it. If you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial. And I will see you in the next video.